Best places to invest in Christchurch, let's go. Now, if you've been following this YouTube channel for a while, you'll know that Christchurch is the most undervalued city in New Zealand, about 18% undervalued right now. But you might be thinking, well, where in Christchurch should I invest? Well, in this video, you're gonna get the best suburbs to buy an investment property in Christchurch, and there are four factors we're gonna look at. We're gonna go through which suburbs are most affordable, which ones have had the best historic capital growth, and which ones attract the best yields today. And make sure you stick around to the end because we're also going to go through which types of properties to buy and the opportunity to make money from them. Okay, let's look at the most expensive and most affordable places to buy property in Christchurch. At the more expensive end, you've got places like Fendleton, Strawn, and Miravale, and each of these suburbs have an average property value of over one and a quarter million dollars. The other expensive areas are places like Sumner, Clifton and Mount Pleasant. Each of those average property price over a mill. Now, generally investors will focus on more affordable properties, so let's see where they are. First of all, you've got just to the east of the city and we're looking at places like Linwood, Phillipstown and Richmond. In fact, some of these like Phillipstown and Aranui still have an average house value with a four in front of it. There's another affordable area as well, just to the south of the central city. That's in places like Addington, Sydney, and Waltham. And each of those suburbs have an average property value under $600,000. So the most affordable properties in Christchurch tend to be just at the southern and eastern lip of the city centre. Now let's talk about which suburbs have had the fastest historic capital growth. Now, just like in Auckland, the centre of the city has tended to be lower growth. That's not because property prices don't increase there, it's just that it's chock full of apartments which tend to grow in value more slowly. But what we see is that the capital growth spreads out from the city centre, particularly to the north and the south in Christchurch. There are two main capital growth hotspots you want to be aware of. The first one is in that more expensive area just to the north of the city centre. In fact, that's where we saw the fastest appreciating property prices in the city in the suburb of Strowan. There, house prices increased by 7.3% per year on average over the last 22 years. But also there are other good suburbs like Fendleton and Miravale. The other hotspot we see is just to the south of the city. This is the cheaper areas we just talked about, places like Sprayton, Sydney and Addington. In fact, those suburbs, despite being more cheap or more affordable, are the third, fourth and sixth fastest appreciating suburbs in the city. And that's out of about 60 suburbs. Now, where have property prices increased the slowest in Christchurch? Firstly, up in New Brighton and Parklands, and then also in Island, Avonhead and Rusley. Now, that's not to say that house prices haven't increased here, but they've done so at a slower rate. And finally, you need to know which areas are the highest and the lowest yielding. That's the rental return that you want to get as a property investor. Now, generally, the highest yielding properties tend to be in more affordable areas, and the opposite is also true. So that's why it's no surprise that Aranui, one of the cheapest areas in Christchurch, is also the highest yielding suburb, along with some other areas around that, places like Wainoni and Dallington. Similarly, let's go back to those other suburbs we just talked about, Waltham, Phillipstown, Addington and Sydney. That is our other high yielding hotspot just to the south of the city. In fact, Phillipstown is the second highest yielding suburb in the city and then Waltham is at seventh place. Those others ain't too far behind. But where would the lowest yielding properties in Christchurch be? First of all, it's in those more expensive areas, places like Sumner, Clifton, Mount Pleasant, just to the southeast of the city, and then again, just above the city centre, Miravale, St Albans, Fendleton, expensive properties there, lower rents, and so they tend to be lower yielding. Right, let's get into the best places to invest in Christchurch and our top three suburbs. Well, it's no surprise, they tend to be at the southern and the eastern lip of the central city. And my top three suburbs are Addington, Sydney and Waltham. That's because of the mix of affordability, historic capital growth and that mix of growth and yield. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I've just invested in Addington myself. But before you go and buy something in one of these suburbs, you need to know what the opportunities are. 
Now the right opportunity for you depends on your strategy. Now there's usually two that investors go for in today's market. Either you take a passive buy and hold strategy focused on new builds, or you take a renovations focused burr strategy focused on existing properties. Let's start with new builds. The first opportunity you're going to see is investing in townhouses, and this is for growth-focused investors. You're going to see a lot of these being built, and you currently are, in places like Addington, Sydney, Waltham, those three suburbs we just talked about. But if you want to invest in new build, there's also an opportunity to invest in standalone houses. Now, the areas I'm about to show you, we haven't talked much about in this video, and that's simply because they are outside of the Christchurch city boundary. But if you want to invest in a standalone house, generally you might look at a place like Kaiapoi or Rangi Ora. Those are just to the north of the city with about a 20 to 30 minute drive away. They are in the Waimakariri district. Or you might also look at Rolleston, which is in Selwyn district. That's to the southwest of the city and is about a 20 minute drive. Now let's say that you're a renovations focused investor who wants to take the Burr strategy. Well, just before we go over that final opportunity, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get notified and don't miss out on our future videos. Okay, let's rip into that opportunity. If you are a Burr focused investor, you're going to be buying existing houses in those top three suburbs we talked about, Eddington, Sydney, and Waltham. And the reason you do this in Christchurch and renovate those properties is existing properties require a 40% deposit. Now because Christchurch city properties are cheaper on average compared to say Auckland or Hamilton, you're going to need lease equity to get started. Now once you've purchased the right property, what are you going to do to it? You're going to focus on the six cash flow hacking steps that we use here at Opus Partners and Opus Accelerate. And my top three favourites are adding an extra bedroom, converting it to a multi-tenancy and replacing the fixtures and fittings. Now if this is your strategy, you're going to stay away from new builds and probably apartments and townhouses too. And if you want to know where else to invest in New Zealand, check out this video on the best places to invest in Auckland.